Welcome everyone to another unboxing video. In this video we're going to be looking at a smash up expansion by the name of What Were We Thinking. So we've already done a couple of these on the channel and I know I realize that I haven't done a how to play smash up video yet but I will definitely get that around. Um, especially if y'all keep asking me I'll definitely get on that. So yeah so let's go ahead and unbox this here. So it's one of them. Um, I mean I'm not going to say like it's a super old set nor a super new set but it's interesting regardless, you know, uh, like always these and these uh, expansions have their four factions plus some bases and some tokens and stuff, which I will show you in just a little bit. I'll show the back right now. I just wanted to, you know, take that off, but here we go. That's how it looks. And it says, is that a teddy bear? Well, but yeah, so it has four different ones. It has uh, teddy bears, it has rock stars, it has explorers, and it has grannies. These are some weird factions for sure. Very, very strange indeed, but let's go ahead and uh, open this up here. Let me just show you these little cards right here real quick, if you, in case you wanted to see that. But yeah, let's go ahead and flip this over, and here we go. So like always, it's best to um, try and either sleeve these cards up, or uh, use something like the big geeky box, or the bigger geekier box, or both. Probably, I do both, preferably, because I play a lot of Smash Up, and I want to make sure that the cards don't get damaged. So here is the... Uh, adjusted rule book for, you know, for this expansion here. There's all this stuff here, clarifications and all this stuff, so that's cool. Alright, and then we got, of course, some of these, some little, little tokens or, you know, I mean, they're called VP tokens, but I don't know, you can use them as plus one counters, the power counters, or VP tokens as well, VP points, but I'm going to go ahead and just set these over here separately. Alright, and then here's this stuff. So, first things first, you do get these. Um, these are like little divider tabs. And I will say that you technically don't, you know, like, don't will not find these useful at all if you already bought the Bigger Geekier box. Because they're the same ones. You should already have these from the Bigger Geekier box. Uh, but here's Grannies, Explorers, Rock Stars, and Teddy Bears. See? They're just dividers if you want to go in and use them for your uh, Bigger Geekier box or Big Geeky box, either or. But yeah, put that there. And then here are the four different factions. So I'm going to take these out. Like always, um, the expansion comes in this little piece here that's used to separate the four different ones. But I mean, you can just remove that. And then you have your box. You can either use it or you can throw it away. Different people do different things. I personally throw them away and recycle them um, because I just put everything in the bigger, geekier box. All right, so I'm going to put these over here as well, right there. Okay, and here we go. So we'll just start with one, one at a time here and just kind of see what each of these uh, factions actually have. There should be an easy pull right here. That's right. Okay. So these are going to be the um, explorers, I believe. Let me just pull that. There we go. But yeah, so there's explorers. Then there's, oh shoot. <laughs> then there's the rock stars right here. We got the grannies and then the teddy bears. So I'm going to put these over here. Okay. There we go. So we have... Two Glory Hounds. Look at the top two cards of the base deck. Place one in the bottom of the deck and the other on the top. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four. We got four of those. Nice. Then we have Crypt Looter. Special after a new base comes into new into play. You may play this minion on it as an extra minion. One, two, three. We got three of those. And there's Guide. Ongoing. After the first time each of your minions moves in the turn, it gains plus one power until the end of the turn those and then Idaho Smith you may play the top base of the base deck and move this minion and any number of your other minions from here to there wow it's pretty cool and one of those here's actions I'm not gonna read all these it's a lot you know I don't want to bore you all to death with too much reading but here's uh, Lost City you got two of those and there's Forgotten Horrors okay one of those Fortune and Glory you got two of those. It belongs in the museum. I said no camels. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> X never marks the spot. Move each of your meanings. It's hilarious. Okay. Dr. Livingstone, I presume. You call this archaeology? Alright. And that's it for that. Okay, so that's the Explorers one. It's pretty interesting, and that has to do with moving and stuff like that, um, so, I don't know, it's pretty nice regardless, but that's one. Alright, now we're going to move on to, we'll go and do this one now, this is Granny's, very, very, 
interesting decision here by, you know, <laughs> by them to actually go ahead and release these as a faction. So here's Grandma. It says, look at the top part of your deck, place it on the top or bottom of your deck. So you get one, two, three, four grandmas, and you get Nana. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is an action, draw it or play it. That's an extra action. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of your deck. Three Nanas, then you get Granny, literally Granny. Look at the top card of your deck, place it on the top or bottom of your deck, which is a talent. So that's a once per turn. And then you get Matriarch. Reveal the bottom two cards of your deck, draw any minions revealed and discard the rest. That's a talent. Okay. That's it for the minions. And then we have actions. We get always room. Always room my grannies. Okay, sorry, I was reading that wrong. Okay, so that's one. And then the next one is chicken soup. What the fuck is oh my god, dude. Don't mess with my babies. Wow, we love that for sure. We get Attic Treasures. We got two of those. Knitting Circle. Granny's Purse. We got two Granny's Purse. Hush, my stories are on. <laughs> okay. And then Family Reunion is the last one. All right. So that's the Granny's faction. Definitely one of the weirdest factions ever to be released, according to a lot of people. Okay, next one is Rockstars. We'll go ahead and open this one up next. Where's the easy tear? I think it's right. Yeah, sometimes it's a little hard to see it, but um, yeah, I think it's right. Oh, it should be right here, actually. Right there? Yeah, right there. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Groupie is the first one. Play another groupie here as an extra minion. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. You get five groupies. Very, okay, very different than usual. Rick Roll. Move up to three of your minions from bases with lower breakpoints to here. One, two, you get two of those. Classic Rocker. Talent, if this base has a, has a breakpoint of 21 or higher, draw a card. You uh, use only one Classic Rocker ability per turn. That's like... Yu-Gi-Oh's equivalent of Hard Ones Return, you know? Sorry, it's my Yu-Gi-Oh side showing. The Monarch. Talon, search your deck and or discard a pile for a groupie. Reveal it and place it into your hand. Shuffle your deck if you searched it. So it's all about using those groupies, huh? Then for the actions, we get Power Ballad. You can definitely see some references here. Turn up to 11. Reunion Tour. Total Sellout. So you got two of those. Rock of Love. Guest Star. So you got two guest stars. Hot Venue. Tour Bus. And that's it. Alright, so that is the third faction. And then the fourth one is Teddy bears, as you know. Okay, so this one, I kept this one for last because it also has the bases in here. You can always tell that which one is uh, slightly thicker, I guess. Uh, where is this one? I think it's right there. It's just a little hard to, um, again, to separate that and pull it out. Right there. Okay. Do that. Move that over. Okay. So we're going to do the bases last, which are going to be right here. Put those face down. Here we go. First one is Snuggly Bear. Special. After you play your first minion in a turn, you may immediately play this minion there as an extra minion. One, two, three, four. So you get four Snuggly Bears. Next one is Lovey Bear. Ongoing. This minion's starting power is increased to the highest starting power of an opponent's minion here. Wow. Two, three. Then we got Fun Bear. Ongoing, after another player plays or moves a minion to here, place a plus one counter on this minion. One, two, okay. And insert squeezes. Play up to three minions of power three or less, whose total power is five or less, as extra minions here. Wow, that's a lot of swarming. Okay. Actions, we got, uh, we got Tea Party first, okay. Then we have Cuddle. Simply cancel on the abilities, or the minion's abilities. So we got two cuddles. 
care package. It's pretty good right there. We got two care package. Group hug. Wow, this is all 420 right here. This is so cute. Bear picnic. Too cute. Wow. Love overload. Yeah, that's that actually it's a great way of representing the entire faction here. And then square deal, the very last one. Okay. That's it. So that's all the factions. Now let's go ahead and pull out these bases here and see what we got. So I am going to read these. So, first one is City of Gold. It's only a 16. At the start of your turn, if you have a minion here, gain 1 BP. What? That is crazy. Okay. Ancient Temple. At the start of your turn, if you have only one minion here, it gains plus 5 power. Why is it a little blurry? There we go. Plus 5 power while it is here until the end of the turn. Okay. So these two, I believe, go with uh, Explorers. Then we have Retirement Community. After the space scores, each player may place one of their minions here on the top or bottom of their deck instead of discard pile. Okay. Grandma's House. 25. After you play a minion here, look at the top card of your deck. Place it on the bottom or the top or bottom of your deck. My bad, I worded that wrong. Okay. Palooza, 27. 6438. Before this base scores, each player may may move one of their minions to here. That is a huge breakpoint. Then we have 26 Lake Minnetonka. Up to your player move a minion to here against plus one power until the end of the turn. Okay. And then we have Under the Bed. On your turn, you may play an extra minion of power two or less here if you have played one or more minions at other bases this turn. And then lastly, we have Out in the Woods. Before this base scores, each minion here gains plus one power until the end of the turn. A lot of before scoring, a lot of more technical aspects for sure, you know? But I mean, regardless, it's pretty cool. So, that's it for all these, as you can see. So, it, it's, a nice, it's a nice little deal getting this. Let me go ahead and just bring out the lid again so you can see how it looks. But yeah, this, this thing goes for about 15 to 20 US dollars on Amazon and other similar websites. So. I mean, I would recommend picking it up, that's for sure. But you know, you get it for both factions, four dividers, a couple of VP tokens, and then um, eight base cards, two representing each, um, each faction. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, I would like to encourage you to go and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I post multiple gaming videos on a daily basis, so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye-bye everyone, have a great and of course, a fantastic day.